in this video, I'm going to do a shootout between Studio One 3.3 and 3.5. The purpose of this video is to show you the CPU performance monitoring in both versions. So you can make a decision for yourself as to which one is better. I have a session here that I created and I started to mix. Looking at the performance monitor without playing, the CPU performance is at 88%. You might hear some noise in the background because I have a lot of analog emulation plugins going on in the background. You can see here the major culprit is the T-Rex CS plugin, which is on my mix bus. Basically, that's a limiter. Total tracks are 93. That includes buses, VCAs, and FX. And here you can see that I have a hefty number of plugins. Auto-align, SSL from Waves, Sound Toys, Steven Slate, and various stock plugins that come with Studio One 3.3. Now, let me show you my audio setup. I'm going to start with a device block of 32 samples. And Two fifty six CPU at a hundred. Five twelve CPU at a hundred, or actually, it dropped a little bit. We're now in the high nineties. And normally, if I don't have a bunch of tracks or plugins instantiated. I can mix that 512 with no problem. 1024 samples. CPU is now in the low 90s. Okay, it looks like the audio is starting to come through now. And the last option that I have is 2048 samples. And let's see what happens. Okay, and this is how I've actually been working on this track. It's been very painful to say the least. Now I'm gonna update Studio One. Okay, now I'm going to check for updates. And the installed version is 3.3.4. The newest version is 3.5. And let's make sure we get the release notes. And this time I'm going to say update now. You can do it here or you can do it here. Let's click here. Update now. I'm not keeping 3.5. So I'm sorry, I'm not keeping version 3.3, .3, so I'm just going to drag it in here. And preparing to copy applications. Replace. And it's doing its thing. Okay, that's done. Okay, and I'm getting, there are updates available for your extensions. Studio One reference manual, blah, blah, blah. Yes. That's been installed. Okay. And it's restarted itself. I 
I recently updated waves, so I have to go back and point it back to it. All right, I'm gonna open the same song I was working on earlier. Okay, so right off the bat, let's take a look at the audio setup. Right now, we have it set up at 2048 samples, which is where we left off in version 3.3. .3. I'm gonna leave it there to start. And right off the bat, you can see that our CPU is down to the low 70s and 3.3 .3, it was up in the low 90s let's hit play so the cpu did spike to 100 percent at 2048 samples one more time That time it didn't do it. Let's do it again. Okay. So it's staying steady at in the 70s now. All right. Let's go to the device block size here. And this is in 3.5. I'm going to change it and I'm only getting and 2048 samples let's go to processing dropout protection we're gonna go to medium process block looks like it's not gonna let me change it and low latency not available i'm not sure why i should be getting more options there playback device yes focus right thunderbolt play by play and let's see here. Now with the built-in, still only getting 2,048 samples. And so I'm only gonna get up to 2,048 with this computer, I'm assuming that's the reason. So you can see the input latency is at 43 samples, uh, sorry, milliseconds, and the output is at 43 milliseconds. And on the processing now, I have dropout protection at medium and it's showing monitoring latencies. This is the standard and low latency is not available just now. And I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit play. All right, I'm gonna put it at maximum. See what happens. Still in the 70s. Okay, so that's good. Actually, that is very good for the amount of plugins that I have. 